It's been compared to walking on water. Stand-up paddleboarding is making a major comeback, so much so that it's been added as a new category to tomorrow's Quicksilver Molokai to Oahu race. Remember, 32 miles across the Kaivi Channel. Stand-up paddleboarding dates back to the 1960s when the Waikiki Beach Boys used it to take pictures of tourists learning to surf. Now, normally, the Quicksilver race is done by Australian-style knee paddling using arm strength only, but even with a paddle, this is not easy. It'd be like standing on a ball while you're paddling. And um, it's, it's, it's tricky, and it's a lot of core, it's a lot of balance, it's a lot of uh, subconscious thinking. So it's, it's very um, assertive all the way around. Trust me, it is hard, and I'm the waterman, but I got a chance to try this out firsthand with the help of veteran paddler Todd Bradley. Paddle on the left and the board will go to the right. You paddle on the right and it'll go to the left. The instructions are simple. Push off the board, stand up, and paddle. Okay, now go ahead and stand up. Look at her eyes in. Don't look at the board. <laughs> they only sound simple. <laughs> you almost had it! Okay. Is everybody this bad their first day? Um, you're doing pretty good. Took me seven tries to get the first part even remotely right, and even when I did get moving, it was only a few yards before, yeah, you know. I'll go out and fetch them. I didn't get out far enough to catch any waves, but I could feel a mean burn in my legs and my back hurt, but maybe I'm just out of shape. I thought you did pretty good. Oh, you're a liar. Yeah, I'm yeah. a good liar. <laughs> no, you, you did okay. You know, it's, um, it's a little bit high tide today. We could have found a smaller patch, but it wouldn't have made for good TV if we got you in some good calm water. Oh, I appreciate you taking that into consideration. <laughs> All right, no, see. We're talking about it right here, and it, you know, it doesn't take the upper body so much, but my legs were burning. I mean, seriously, my, my stomach was sore, my back was sore. I mean, maybe I'm out of shape, and I'm sure that's part of it. Well, but see, but I, I think, think your back was sore because you were kind of doing one of these. <laughs> 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 You try it. No. I had no idea was, that he was so athletically I, inclined. I, I think one of the things they said, he said, keep looking at the horizon because he said it wanted to make it more of a subconscious thing. He said I was concentrating too much on it. But I just suck. Ah, you did. I, I still blame the tides. You gave us a good laugh anyway. All right, thanks a lot, no Steve. Problem.